the spirit of truth, heard everywhere, present and fill us all things. Treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity. And save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O all holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, cleanse us from our sins, O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit in your infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Hearken, O Lord, unto my righteousness, attend unto my supplication, give ear unto my prayer, which cometh not from deceitful lips. From before thy face, let my judgment come forth, let mine eyes behold up brightness. Thou hast proved my heart, thou hast visited it in the night. Thou hast tried me by fire and unrighteousness, was not found in me. That my mouth might not speak of the works of men, for the sake of the words of thy lips, have I kept the ways that are hard. Set my footsteps in thy path, that my steps may not be shaken. I have cried, for thou hast hearkened unto me, O God. Incline thine ear unto me, and hearken unto my words. Let thy mercies be made wonderful, O thou that savest them that hope in thee. From them that have resisted their right hand, keep me, O Lord, and say, I have loved them I. In the shelter of thy wings will thou shelter me from the face of the ungodly which have oppressed me. Mine enemies have surrounded my soul, and they have enclosed themselves with their own fat. Their mouth has spoken pride. They that cast me out have now encircled me. They have set their eyes and look askance on the earth. They have taken me as might a lion ready for his prey, and might a lion's whelp that, dwell, that dwelleth in hiding. Arise, O Lord, overtake it, and trip their heels. Deliver my soul, O ungodly men. Thy sword from the enemies of thy hand. O Lord, from thy fear, do thou separate them from the earth in their life. Yea, with thy hidden treasures hath thy belly been filled. They have satisfied themselves with swine, and have left the remnants of their veins. But as for me in righteousness shall I appear before thy face. I shall be filled when thy glory is made manifest unto me. Unto thee, O Lord, have I have lifted up my soul, O my God, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be put to shame, nor let mine enemies laugh me to scorn. Yea, let none that wait on thee be put to shame, let them be ashamed which are lawless without a cause. Make thy ways, O Lord, known unto me, and teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth, and teach me thou art, for thou art God my Savior. For on thee have I waited all the day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies, for they are from everlasting. The sins of my youth and my ignorances remember not. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for the sake of thy goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore will he set a law for them that sit in the way. He will guide the meek in judgment, he will teach the meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth unto them that seek after his covenant and his testimonies. For the sake of thy name, O Lord, be gracious, be gracious unto my sin, for it is great. Who is the man that feareth the Lord? He will set him in a law in the way that he has chosen. His soul shall abide amid good things, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of them that fear him, and his covenant shall be manifested unto them. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he it is that will draw my feet out of the snare. Look upon me, and have mercy on me, for I am one only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied. Bring me out from my necessities. Behold my lowliness and my toil. Forgive all my sins. Look upon mine enemies, for they are multiplied, and with an unjust hatred have they hated me. Keep my soul and rescue me, let me not be put to shame, for I have hoped in thee. The innocent and the upright have cleaved unto me, for I waited, the, I waited on thee, O Lord. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his afflictions. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy and according to the multitude of thy compassions. Blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know mine iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. 
For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom, as thou may manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit with me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not the spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, with thy govern governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hadst sacrifice, desired sacrifice, I would have given it. With whole burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humble, God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, and I get pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then they shall offer young bulls upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, for the Lord has shown strength with his arm. He has trampled down death by death, he has become the firstborn of the dead. He has delivered us from the depths of hell and has granted through the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O dweller of the wilderness and angel in the body, thou wast a wonder worker. O our God-bearing Father of Simpsons, thou didst receive heavenly gifts through, vi vi through fasting, vigil, and prayer, healing the sick and the souls of those drawn to thee by faith. Glory to him who gave thee strength. Glory to him who granted thee a crown. Glory to him who grants healing to all, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, thou art the true vine who has budded forth for us the fruit of life. We entreat thee, O sovereign lady, intercede together with the holy apostles, that he may be merciful to our souls. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord day by day. The God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O all, holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, cleanse us from our sins, O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for their name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. This day that is rise from the tomb, a merciful one, leading us from the gates of death. On this day, Adam exalts as Eve rejoices with the prophets and patriarchs. They unceasingly praise the divine majesty of thy power. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who art long suffering, merciful and compassionate, who love us to judge and show us mercy upon the sinner. Who calls all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour, receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulations, evil, and distress. Compass us about with thy holy angels, that guided and guarded by them, we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of that unapproachable glory. For thou art blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. 
Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption, thou gavest birth to God the Word. Through Theotokos, who magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Amen. O Master God, Almighty Father, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and all Holy Spirit, one Godhead and one power, have mercy on me, a sinner, and by the judgments which thou hast established, save me, thine unworthy servant. For thou art blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself our King and our God. O God, in thy name save me, and in thy strength to thy judgment. O God, hearken unto my prayer, and give ear unto the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, and mighty men have sought out for my soul, and have not set God before themselves. For behold, God God with me, and the Lord is the protector of my soul. He will bring evils upon mine enemies, utterly destroy them by thy truth. Willingly shall I sacrifice unto thee, I will confess thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For out of every affliction hast thou delivered me, and mine eye hath looked down upon mine enemies. Dear O God, unto my prayer, this pain on my supplication. Attend that to me and hear me, I was grieved in my meditation. I was troubled at the voice of the enemy and at the oppression of the sinner. For cause they have turned equity upon me, and with wrath were they angry against me. My heart is troubled within me, and the terror of death has fallen upon me. Fear and trembling have come upon me, and darkness has covered me. And I said, You will give me wings like a dove, and I will fly and be at rest. Lord, I have fled far from power, and have dwelt in the wilderness. I waited for God to save me from faintheartedness and from tempest. Plunge them into the depths, O Lord, and divide their tongues, for I have seen iniquity and gain saying in the city. They and that they were to go round about upon me. Her walls and equity and toil and unrighteousness are in the midst of her, and usury and deceit have not departed from her streets. For if my enemy has survived me, I might have been dirty, and if he that hath me hath spoken boastful words against me, I might have hid myself from him. But thou art close, and men of life, so with me, my guide and my familiar friend, thou who did together with me did sweeten my repast, and the house of God I walk with thee in oneness of mine. Let death come upon such ones, and let them go down alive in Hades, for wickedness is in their dwellings, and in the midst of it. As for me, unto God have I cried, and the Lord hearkened unto me, evening, morning, and noonday will I tell of it, and will declare to me, will hear my voice. He will redeem my soul and peace from them that draw nigh unto me, for I they among many were with me. God will hear it, <coughs> and he will humble them, he that is before the angels. For to them there is no acquittal, because they have not feared God. He hath stretched forth his hand in retribution. They have defiled his covenant. They were scattered by the wrath of his countenance, and their hearts have been vain. Their words were smoother than oil, and yet they are darts. Cast thy care upon the Lord, and he will nourish thee, who will never permit the righteous to be shaken. But thou, O God, shalt bring those men down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. But as for me, O Lord, I will hope in thee. He that dwelleth in the help of the Most High shall abide in the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall say unto the Lord, Thou art my helper and my refuge. He is my God, and I will hope in him. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunters and from every troubling word. With his shoulders will he overshadow thee, and under his wings shalt thou have hope. With his shield will his truth encompass thee. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the thing that walketh in darkness, nor for the mishap and demon of noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but unto thee shall it not come nigh. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold, and thou shalt see the reward of sinners. For thou, O Lord, of my hope, thou madest the most high bed, thy refuge. No evil shall come nigh thee, and no scourge shall draw nigh unto thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. On their hands shall they bear thee up, lest at any time thou shalt dash thy foot against the stone. Upon the asp and the basilisk shalt thou tread, and, the, and thou shalt trample upon the lion and the dragon. For he hath set his hope on me, and I will deliver him. I will shelter him, because he hath known my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hearken unto him. I am with him in affliction, and I will rescue him and glorify him. With length of days I will satisfy him, and I will show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. 
Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, for the Lord hath sown strength with his arm. He has trampled down death by death, he has become the firstborn of the dead. He has delivered us from the depths of hell, has granted the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O dweller of the wilderness, an angel in the body, thou wast the wonder worker, O our God-bearing Father Oxentius. Thou didst receive heavenly gifts through fasting, vigil, and prayer, healing the sick and the souls of those drawn to thee by faith. Glory to thee, him who gave thee strength. Glory to him who granted thee a crown. Glory to him who grants healing to all. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. As we have no boldness on the account of the multitude of our sins, O Virgin Theotokos, intercede with him who was born of thee. For much more is the prayer of her mother able to incline the master into kind-heartedness. Despise not the supplications of sinners, O all pure, for merciful and strong to save is he who condescended to suffer for us. Let thy compassions quickly go before us, O Lord, for we are become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of thy name. O Lord, deliver us and be gracious unto our sins for thy name's sake. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O all holy trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. On this day thou didst rise from the tomb, a merciful one, leading us from the gates of death. On this day Adam exalts and Eve rejoices with the prophets and patriarchs. They unceasingly praise the divine majesty of thy power. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who hath long suffering, merciful and compassionate, who lovest the just and showest mercy upon the sinner, who callest all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulations, evil and distress. Compass us about with thy holy angels that guide and guarded by them, we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For thou art blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious be uncompared than the seraphim. Without corruption, thou givest birth to God the Word. Truth, they are too close, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, Father, and bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. O Lord, our God, and Lord of hosts, and maker of all things created, who through the tender heart of compassion of thine incomparable mercy, did send thou thy only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our race, and by his precious cross, this destroy the handwriting of our sins, and this thereby triumph over the ordinary powers of darkness. Do thou the same, Lord, who loveth mankind, receive also these thanksgivings and fervent prayers of the sinners, and deliver us from any harmful and gloomy transgression, and from all enemies, both visible and visible, who seek after us to destroy us, narrow our flesh to the, with the fear of thee, and bind out our hearts to words and thoughts of wickedness, but wound our souls with the love of thee. That looking ever unto thee, and guided by thee in the light, beholding thee, the light ineffable and everlasting, 
we may ascribe unto thee season of confession and thanksgiving unto thee and origin Father, together with thine only begotten Son, and an all holy good and life giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Forgive me in any way I may have sinned against you. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. The peace from above and the salvation of our souls let us pray to the Lord. Lord the Holy Church is of God and for the union of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this beatitude, our metropolitan for his eminence, our Archbishop Alexander, for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. countryside and the faithful dwelling in them. Let us pray to the Lord. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Travelers by land, by sea, and by air for the sick and the suffering for captives and their salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. For unto thee our due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Save 
receive us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, For thine is the might, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Thank uh-huh. 
condemn us who had sinned, O Lord, bestower of life, yet having suffered in thy flesh, O sinless Master. Thou hast granted life unto the mortals who cry out, Remember us also in thy kingdom. Blessed are you when the cherry valued and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. In rising from the dead, thou hast raised us up from the passions with thyself through thy resurrection, O Lord. And all the power of death hast thou destroyed, O Savior. Wherefore, with faith we cry out to thee, remember us also in thy kingdom. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. O thou who hast God granted us life, by thy three days in the tomb that it's raised up with thyself the dead in hell, and as one who is good, thou hast poured forth in corruption upon all of us who with faith ever cry out, Remember us also in thy kingdom. With song let us attend.
God, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy God. Gospel according. 
going to St. Luke. Glory to Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Now behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector, and he was rich. And he sought to see who Jesus was, but could not because of the crowd, for he was short of stature. So he ran ahead and climbed into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was going to pass by that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must stay at your house. So he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. But when they saw it, they all complained, saying, He is gone to be a guest with a man who is a sinner. Then Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I give half of my goods to the poor. And if I have taken anything from anyone by false accusation, I restore fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because he is also a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which is lost. Glory to thee. Christ is in our midst. He is Today is Zacchaeus Sunday, Sunday which, which should set off alarm bells for all of you and tell you that Lent is five weeks away. At least in the Russian tradition, uh, the Greeks have a, and uh, some have a slightly different lectionary, but ours, every year it rings. Uh, every time we hear Zacchaeus, we know Lent is coming, and we begin to prepare, right? Right. <laughs> By eating more meat, right? <laughs> uh, well, today is Zacchaeus Sunday. We, we just heard the story of Zacchaeus, uh, a rich tax collector, a chief tax collector. When the scripture says that he is small, it's not just that he is small or short in stature. It is also that, like so many other greedy people, like so many other corrupt people, he was also very small on the inside, very withered and corrupt, very empty person. It's interesting, however, though, and we see this even in our society, that no matter how corrupt a person is, no matter how empty a person is or how sinful a person is, there's oftentimes a spark in the depths of their soul that is looking for something more, some way to get out of the pit they've dug themselves into, and some way to uh, find something that has meaning, that doesn't just live, live, doesn't just leave one guilty, decaying inside, and feeling small. So we can only assume that Zacchaeus had such a spark in his soul, and that spark led him to climb the tree to see the prophet from Nazareth, who was going to walk by that day. Someone he had heard had done great miracles and had unique teaching. And there he was, this little man craw crawling up a tree and doing something that would be rather embarrassing for someone at his time, in a, of his stature. It is even said that uh, for a man to run in public at that time was somewhat of an embarrassment. Imagine how much more to, to climb up a tree so Zacchaeus climbs that tree, he looks down, but will notice that Jesus comes to him specifically and says, Zacchaeus, make your way down the tree, make haste, I must stay at your house. So although there was a spark in the soul of Zacchaeus, and although it was Zacchaeus who climbed the tree, ultimately, ultimately today's story has everything to do with the initiative of Christ with Christ pursuing Zacchaeus, that he knows his name, that he knows his heart, and that he knows that spark is there, and that it only needs 
a visitation to build the flame. As the case and Jesus make their way to his house, the people murmur around him. They are worried about Jesus being with a sinner. Because you know, as, as is typical, we tend to put a standard upon our prophets, upon our priests, and upon our religious authorities. And when we, especially in that time, it was thought that one of the best ways to, uh, to control behavior and to help people make wise moral decisions in their life was to ostracize them. It was to treat them as though they were wrong, to avoid them. You would never go into a house of ill repute. You would never visit or sit with sinners or tax collectors. Not only might you dirty yourself, but you might also validate the very sins that they are committing. You might actually be giving them permission. Jesus isn't really concerned about this. There's some deep spark he sees in Zacchaeus. And so he goes and he spends time with him. And what we see is in this time when Jesus is spending his time with Zacchaeus is that there's a deep transformation. And this deep transformation involves a radical overhaul of Zacchaeus' life. He says he's going to give half of his money to the poor. And the other half that he has to give away, he's going to make a fourfold restitution to every single person that he has defrauded, that he has wronged, or somehow um, taken their money in a corrupt way as he was. And in doing so, this is way beyond the law. This is way beyond any thought within Judaism about how to restore when you when you had stolen something from somebody. Now, I want to pause here and, and take a, a side direction to talk a little bit about repentance. This radical upheaval from going from a greedy person to a person who is willing to give away his money, and then secondarily, a person who is willing to make an overabundance of restitution so that he wouldn't even barely have any money to live on, is a quite a big example of repentance, of a dramatic turnaround. It will notice that his repentance isn't just a feeling. We did, today we didn't hear anything within the gospel mentioning that Zacchaeus felt that. We didn't hear anything about Zacchaeus even confessing his sin out loud. Of, of course, we assume within his heart a transformation but there are no actions. The only actions that we see in today's gospel of Zacchaeus repenting are the restitution he pays. Now this should um, be thought about in our lives. Oftentimes within the Orthodox Church, we come to confession and we lay out our sins and we, we speak them, we say them, we say we're sorry, we even have deep bad feelings about them, you know, shame. But then oftentimes, we, and we want to be forgiven, of course, our heart wants to be forgiven. We hear the prayer of absolution, we go away. What Zacchaeus' example today is that alongside of the importance of the transformation or us wanting to be forgiven, is also the restitution, the actions that show repentance. The actions that show a depth of transformation. And imagine if we were held to the standard. That within our hearts, and actually in some sense we are. That every sin we confess in the sacrament of confession. Or every sin we confess to God in the privacy of our home. That there is a corresponding restitution. Not that we're not forgiven and we have to pay God so that we can be forgiven but a corresponding restitution that shows that we indeed have renounced our sin and have turned towards the Lord. This is precisely what we see when Zacchaeus encounters Jesus and brings him into his house. Going back to the main theme 
As we go out into the world, there are many people that we might choose to write off. There are many people who are, of course, corrupt, sinners that are sick in their soul. And we should all the more strive to pray for them. We should all the more strive to be the presence of Christ for them. To be the light that shines in darkness. Sometimes even to seek them out and to encourage them and to be with them. There are stories of saints doing this various thing, of, of even a saint who visited a brothel. Now, I'm not encouraging you to do that, um, especially some of you. But uh, that's a joke, sorry. <laughs> uh, that someone was like, me? Are you talking about me? <laughs> But nonetheless, it's where we go as carriers, as God-bearers, as people who have received Christ into our, into our houses, who have taken them, Him into our lives, we become, in many ways, the person of Christ in this world. And by going to the sullied corners of this world, we can often not only bring the light, but we can ignite sparks. Now, there's stories that I've heard. People who have worked with Christians. People who have seen how Christians behave during natural disasters uh, or during refugee situations. People who had lived empty lives who saw the spark, who saw the flame in someone else, and because of that spark and that flame, had a radical fire ignited in their own hearts and changed their lives. And this is precisely the story of the martyrs, the, the seeing the martyrs die and bear witness, often ignited sparks and flames within the hearts of the people that were there as witnesses. Our life is called to be like this. So let us be as our Lord was, the Zacchaeus. We are aware that there are all sorts of corrupt people out there, empty people, small people, we're not to look down upon them and judge them. We can go to them. We can pray for them. We can seek them out with the hope that somehow by manifesting our love to them that God can be born in them. Because it's only ultimately when they receive Christ, when that spark is ignited and it turns into the fire like it is, like it was for Zacchaeus, that they can finally fully repent. People need love to come to repentance, and repentance is always a transformation. It is always a total direction turn in our lives. As today's gospel said, the Son of Man came to seek and to save that which was lost. We should also seek to bring Christ to those who are lost. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Christ is in our midst. He is in our Let us say with all our soul and all our mind, let us say, Lord have mercy. O Lord Almighty God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for our Metropolitan Tecon, for our Archbishop Alexander, and for all our brethren in Christ. Again, we pray for this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable holy orthodox patriarchs and for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy church and for the, all of our fathers and brethren who the orthodox departed this life before us 
who here in all the world I sleep in the Lord. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, Jeff, Shetul, Mira, Camden, Rachel, Mary, Maurice, Katie, Linnea, George, George, Plato, Margaret, Millie, Marina, Kimberly, Paul, Amanda, Trey, Bridget, Ray, Esme, Moes, Brian, Mariana, Kathy, John, Martha, Mahal, Christopher, Tom, Susan, Theodora, and Teresa, and for the brethren of this holy temple, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Again we pray thee, O Lord, who lovest mankind, deliver us from the threat of the coronavirus. Send thine angels to watch over us, to protect us. Grant us health and recovery to those who are suffering. Guide the hands of the physicians and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace. We pray thee, hear us, and have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple. For those who labor and those who sing, and all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. For thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Pray to the Lord, ye catechumens. Let us, the faithful, pray for the catechumens that the Lord may have mercy on them, that he may teach them the word of truth, that he may not repent Reveal to them the gospel of righteousness, that he may unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church. Save them, have mercy on them, and help them, and keep them, O God, by thy grace. Bow your heads unto the Lord, ye catechumens. Our God, who dwells on high and regardeth things below, who is sent forth as the salvation of the race of men, thine only begotten Son, and God our Lord Jesus Christ, look down upon thy servants, the catechumens who have bowed their necks before thee, and make them worthy in due time of the lather of regeneration, the remission of sin, and the robe of incorruption. Unite them to thy holy Catholic and Apostolic Church and number them with thy chosen flock, that with us they may also glorify thine all-honorable majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All catechumens, depart, depart, catechumens, let us the faithful again and again in peace pray unto the Lord. on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom for unto thee our due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God.
complete our prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts now offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have that we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. That the whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant this, o Lord. our most holy, most your most blessed and glorious lady, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Through the compassion of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy good and life-giving spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with thy spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We live in death up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is needed and right to worship the Father. And to worship thee in every place of thy dominion. For thou art God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, and eternally the same. Thou and thine only begotten Son and thy Holy Spirit, thou it was who brought us from non existence into being. And when we had fallen away, dost raise us up again, and didst not, do all, and didst not cease to do all things until thou hast brought us up to heaven and has endowed us with thy kingdom which is to come. For all these things we give thanks to thee, and to thine only begotten Son, and to thy Holy Spirit, for all the things which we know, which we know not, and for all the benefits bestowed upon us, whether manifest or unseen. And we thank thee for this liturgy, which thou hast deigned to accept at our hands, though there stand beside thee thousands of archangels and hosts of angels, the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many I who soar aloft, borne on their pinions, singing the triumphant hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, Holy, Holy, Son and thy Holy Spirit. Holy art thou and all holy and magnificent is thy glory, who is so loved thy world as to give thine only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life, who when he had come and fulfilled the dispensation for us in the night in which he was given up, or rather gave himself up to the life of the world, took bread and his holy pure most pure and blameless hands. And when he had given thanks and blessed it and howled it and broken it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Amen. And likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, 
for the remission of sins. Remembering the saving commandment and all those things which have come to pass for us, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second and glorious coming, thy offering unto thee, thine own of thine own, on behalf of all and for all. Supplicate thee, send down thy Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here offer, and make this bread the precious body of thy Christ, Amen. and that which is in this cup the precious blood of thy Christ, Amen. making the change by thy Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 That they may be to those who partake for vigilance of soul for the remission of sins, for the communion of thy Holy Spirit, for the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, for the fullness towards thee, and not for judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer unto thee this rational worship for those who have fallen asleep in the faith, ancestors, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, in every righteous spirit made perfect in faith, Especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. Remember his beatitude, our Metropolitan Tecon, his eminence, our Archbishop Alexander. Grant them for the holy churches and peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, rightly to divide the word of thy truth. And Grant that with one mouth and one heart we may glorify and praise thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with thy Having remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts now offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. 
that our God who loves mankind, having received them upon his holy and noetic altar above the heavens, as a sweet spiritual fragrance, will send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. That the whole day may perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. And make us worthy, O Master, that without boldness, with boldness, and without condemnation we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God as Father, and to say, Grace and 
compassion, love towards mankind, and thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine awfully good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. And holy things are for the holy. What is holy? What is holy for Jesus Christ? To the glory of God the Father, Amen. Praise the Lord.
holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, life-giving and dread mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. For thou art our sanctification, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen.
Christ is in our midst. Not very many announcements today. Uh, simply that we will have Wednesday Vespers, followed by the book study at 11, at 7.15. And then at next uh, Saturday, we're having the catechism where we'll be talking about creation in the fall for those of you who are interested in attending those discussions in that class on uh, Zoom. Um, are there any uh, special names today that anybody wants to celebrate today? Um, everybody who has a birthday is not here, so. Okay. Uh, I believe we may have coffee, um, but in the, in, the, in the parish hall, and uh, I, I assume it's raining out, so obviously try to wear your mask and keep your distance, and those are the rules. All right. God bless you. Christ is in our midst. Yes. 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 Y